you're starting a luxury clothing brand but not sure how to design, where to get the products or how to make them, in this video we're gonna show you everything that you need to know. Even if you have no experience in designing or in this field, we're gonna show you how to do it with artificial intelligence, which will allow you to create products in no time. Now it's important to note that when it comes to designing, artificial intelligence will aid you in the process of creating new designs, but it's not gonna replace it as your creative director, guys. It'll be more like your personal assistant. And since our direction for this line is a luxury product, it's important that we note the definition of what luxury means. The definition of luxury is that it's an inessential, desirable product that's difficult or expensive to obtain. And it's difficult for both the consumer, the seller, and the manufacturer. Guys, this is important to note because when you're designing something that's luxury, you have to be a cut above the rest. This is actually gonna be a two-part video. And in this first part, we're gonna be diving into everything you need to know to establish it, to actually create the designs, to source it, create the line sheets, and really flesh out your concept. In part two, we're actually gonna be making that product. So we're gonna be showing you guys different print methods and applications and ways that you can elevate your price points and your overall brand. So let's jump into this masterclass in AI designing. Before you start designing and working with AI programs to give you different prompts and give you different results, it's important that you start with really understanding who your key audience is gonna be. Now, for us designing this line for this video, we're actually gonna be diving into our key audience who are street crafters. The street crafters are people who aren't afraid to get their hands a little dirty and make their own brand and also hustle and sell those products and services to other people and businesses in their community. And since our street crafters are value conscious, we need to give them a luxury product with a perception of luxury at a price that they can afford. If you're just getting started, chances are you're not really sure Sure who your key audience is gonna be. This is perhaps one of the biggest things that we always see with new brand owners that come into our community, is they're wondering who should they design for. So we're gonna be diving into a worksheet called the Ideal Customer Questionnaire. Now you wanna begin by thinking about your target audience's age range, marital status, education, and income levels. Are they single or are they married? The status of these impacts their purchasing decisions and what they prioritize. This could work for you or against you, so you need to know in advance. Next is their education level. If they're in high school, chances are references to high level concepts like space, travel, and money may miss the mark. But on the flip side, this could mean that they resonate with your memes and sense of humor. Knowing this in advance will also tell you where they may be spending a majority of their time when it comes to using social media or websites. The more you know about your audience, the better AI will help you enhance and give details that you may have missed. The goal here is to know every single detail you can about your customer, because by knowing, you can create marketing that resonates with them and sell products at price points that they're willing to buy. With this information flushed out as best as you can, take a moment to screenshot page two of this worksheet that we have here. This is gonna be a checklist of the items that you need to have before launching, which will help you better market to your customers. And since AI is able to assist you, you can also use this as a reference to start working out those details with a chatbot from Google Bar. Once you create your account, you sign in with your Gmail, it's absolutely free, guys. So this budget so far has been absolutely zero for you to get started. Now, we're gonna actually just enter in the prompts. To start off, we wanna know what Google Bard recommends that we do in marketing to reach our target audience. And here's its broad recommendations. The first two months will focus on building brand awareness and generating leads. The final four will focus on driving sales. Campaign budget for this campaign is $50,000. Trying to do this with $100. So now I'm gonna ask it, I have a budget of $100 to market this brand. Here's some ideas how you can reach your audience to maximize every dollar you spend with $100. Focus on social media. Create high quality content. And say, like you use tools like Canva to create professional looking graphics and videos. Just keep at it and you'll eventually see the fruits of your labor. Man, I love Google Bard, so like, uplifting. But on a serious note, guys, the key to getting better resistance from Bard is to feed it better questions. The worksheets we have help you hone in on these questions. So when I asked it to give me a list of top influencers in the space between 50,000 followers and 100,000 followers, it actually created a really nice set of results. You can then go further into asking help, such as, hey, can you help me create a custom message that I can send to these influencers that'll make them actually wanna reply to me? Another way that you can use this is as a research tool to give you the brands that are in the space you're designing for. You wanna save everything that it gives you and take some time to look these up, as this will help you in creating the mood board for your designs. With the prompts from Google Bard, we started to input these into Pinterest. Now what I did is I actually just went to the list that Google Bard gave me after a couple different searches to find other niche brands. 
And through Pinterest, you were actually able to go through it and start selecting designs and styles that really resonated with you that may resonate with your audience as well. What's cool about Pinterest is that it starts to give you other recommendations based on what you're pinning. So it's a great tool to get started. So now that we have this Pinterest board all lined up, what I started to see is a couple different design styles and aesthetic that I think we could do an incredible job with print on demand with, with the right blank and sourcing. So make sure you guys are sticking around as we dive into those details. Now, with the brand, for me, we already had a brand name. It's called Street Crafter. Streetcrafter.com is where we have the supplies to our community and to members that are watching our channel. But since we're starting a merch brand, we wanted to create a merch brand for members of our group that were that would be accessible to anybody that signs up to the membership. So because of that, we want to have a different domain name. And what we went with is streetcrafter.store. And streetcrafter.store is a great domain for something that's going to be separate from our primary site. I think it's going to be an incredible branding and allow us to just easily link it throughout our community and throughout YouTube as well. So the proper domain name is extremely important for new businesses to establish a strong brand identity and there's no better way to do this than by getting a great domain name. A short, well thought out brand and domain tells potential customers you're legit and can command luxury prices. Because you can't have a luxury brand on a website that reads www.michaelsapparel123.com. That store domain provides the opportunity to find a unique, short, and memorable name. And a bonus is that the extension will make your brand sound exclusive. Not just this, but dot store domains also help you sell more. In a recent study, when compared to dot coms, websites ending in dot store saw two times more impression and 1.7 times more clicks and 12% lower customer acquisition costs. And it's no surprise that over 1 million sellers have chosen a dot store extension, including some of the biggest names like Rihanna, Michelle Obama, Discord, Emirate Airlines, even Mr. Beast. I mean, I was recently watching an episode with my daughter and I saw that he announced his official domain change from a dot com to a dot store in order to sell his merchandise because he felt it was a better brand and positioning online. Now, dot store truly is for selling and I wanna give a huge shout out to them for making this video possible. Now that we got our mood boards as well as our domain name, it's time for us to start designing this thing and the platform that we're gonna use is canva.com. And just because you're creating a luxury brand doesn't mean you need to spend a lot of money on it. And that's where elevate.store comes in. Elevate.store offers discounts on tools such as Suna, Canva, MailChimp, Vistaprint, and many more. This website offers deals worth up to $1,600 and it's completely free to use and open to everyone, regardless of the domain that you use, but you do get additional discounts if you're a .store user. Remember I was telling you guys that you don't need to go broke to start this brand, and that's why I worked with the team there to cook up an amazing deal just for you that we put together in a starter pack. You can get the starter pack for free and use these deals whenever you need them. It's super simple to sign up, just visit elevate.store slash John, sign up with your email, and you get those deals delivered straight to your inbox. One of the tools we're using for this video is Canva, which is available with a 45-day trial exclusively with Elevate.store. Those using a store domain can get 60 days free because you don't just sell more with that store, you also save more. Now, all you gotta do is head on over to Elevate.store slash John or check out the links in the description down below for you guys to get started. And now that we got this tool, it's time for us to start building this thing out. Now, when it comes to designing on Canva, they recently activated an AI design tool that you can use to come up with ideas for your collections. Using this tool, I inputted details that I got from my search results on Pinterest. And surprisingly enough, it came up with a rose design. I played around with this rose design and landed on a direction that I thought was pretty solid. Then went on to another AI program to see what mockup it would generate around a rose idea. And I really liked the direction. We then went back onto Canva to start working on the design that was text-based. And since we're calling this collection Wholesale Authorized Dealer, I wanted to create a logo that would work for any type of print method. And now that we had a couple of designs started, next what I wanted to do was create a line sheet to put them all up next to each other. It really helps you visually see what you're creating and you can actually make a decision on what you want to move forward with. For me, it also helps to take it to one next step and actually print this paper out and put it up on a pin board so you can see it throughout the day and just sleep on what you're working on. Getting a fresh perspective never hurts and it also helps you in deciding which print method will work best for your art. And once we're happy with the designs that we chose, we're good to go to production. But there is one thing I noticed when using AI design programs and that's the ghosting effect around some images. So I submitted my flower work to a graphic artist to help vectorize and clean it up so the ghosting doesn't come back to haunt me in production. Doing this on platforms such as Fiverr can cost you around 20 bucks. With the line sheet and production ready graphics on hand, it's time to start looking at the products we'll be printing on. 
And if you're just getting started, buying in bulk and risking going broke is not what I suggest you do. Instead, I encourage you to work with a supplier to help you sample your products or print on demand. The key differentiator between you and other brands will be the blanks you use to represent your brand. This is where knowing the different types of materials and ounces comes into play. Now let's begin with the most common term and that's GSM versus ounces. Whenever you guys are going into any supplier website, you're gonna see weights associated with a fabric. When it comes to GSM, it means grams per square meter. This means that they take a square meter, they measure it, the, and the weight of that is essentially the GSM. Now when it comes to ounces, it's essentially ounces per square yard. Same concept, they take a square yard, they weigh it, and that's essentially what the ounces of that product is. Now these numbers simply tell us how much fiber is within that one square meter or that one square yard. The heavier or bulkier that fabric is, the higher that number tends to be. But this doesn't necessarily mean that a high GSM count is a higher quality product. Because what suppliers tend to do is they actually mix other fibers within it. So you might get a 420 GSM hoodie, but then you see the content of it and it's like 80% cotton, 20% polyester, or maybe even 50-50. And the reason for this is because cotton is more expensive than other fabrics such as polyester or spandex. So what they wanna do is they wanna get the most for their buck, but also give their consumer a product that's heavyweight and feels soft. So this is the reason why you can't always dictate a quality product to this GSM. You also need to see what the fabric contents of that is. Remember, every fabric acts a little bit differently. A lot of times when they have a polyester count, it's usually on the inside, which means that the fabric on the inside might run a little bit hotter. But if the cotton's on the outside, that also means that it might print better. So a lot of times people don't go with a high GSM count in 100% cotton. And the reason for that is because one, it's expensive, and two, you gotta source for a good quality cotton in order to give customers a quality product. Because you could also have 100% cotton and some pretty high GSM, but if the supplier is getting the wrong cotton or the cheaper cotton, what's gonna happen is it's gonna feel itchy, it's not gonna feel quality. It may be heavy weight and super bulky, but it might end up stretching and washing really weird and just getting a weird shape once a customer actually washes it. So just because it's 100% cotton and high GSM doesn't necessarily automatically qualify it as a luxury or premium product. When it comes to sourcing, what's important to know is that you need to know what the fabric contents are, what the mix of polyester to cotton is, and where the origin of the cotton may be. Higher quality cotton tends to be in North America as well as Australia, with Supima cotton and Pima cotton really leading the game. So it's important to know where the fabric originated from, and if you're getting a polyester mix, making sure that you test it, you wash it, and you see if it's something that feels like premium when you get it, because not all high GSM is made the same. And last, when it comes to sourcing, guys, most customers won't know the difference of this. So a lot of your customers that are gonna be buying the product, they're either gonna say, yo, this feels like premium, or it doesn't. So as an entrepreneur, you need to know the difference of this. Once the blanks come in, guys, it's now time to start sampling your designs. It's important to get a physical sample of what you're thinking of using because with that, you can start to place your art on the garments and you can make adjustments to the art size, the placement, the color of the graphic, or even the color of the shirt. Maybe once you actually get the samples in, you get inspired and you change up the graphic design to elevate that initial concept to the next level. And samples are a great way to also gauge demand of your products before you go buy things in bulk. And a key resource to help you guys do this is gonna be streetcrafter.com. It's gonna be your go-to for sampling and all the supplies that you're gonna need to launch this brand. We actually launched a line of premium heavyweight blanks 400 GSM, 100% cotton made in North America with some incredible cotton that truly stands out from the rest of the competition. I've literally sourced from all these different suppliers and all of them don't match to this level of quality and the customers that get it can say the same. You can also order press art transfer sheets that you can cut and press at home. And if you plan on doing this often, then definitely consider becoming a plug and save up to 40% off all of your purchases. You'll get exclusive member pricing on all blanks, press art, and maker paper. More savings equals more profits for you. Now this is a street crafter way to launch your brand from home. But since we also plan on doing some embroidery and some special elevated prints, we're gonna take this to a print on demand platform that allows us to do press art as well as everything else that we'd like to do for this brand. And you may be wondering which platforms out there allow you to fully customize it in this way, and to that answer, it's a pleek. 
Applique is truly a print on demand platform that's meant for apparel brands. And in the next video, we're gonna take the designs that we created and we're actually gonna start putting it through their platform to show you how you can customize and truly elevate price points. We're also gonna be showing you guys how to launch this online in a very easy, low cost way. So before we get to that video though, I wanna just leave you off with a key note of what I encountered over the last few months of me really testing designs and working with AI. Now AI truly is going to be an assistant. If you're thinking about AI as doing it all for you and just essentially putting out exactly what it gives you, you're not gonna have the best of luck. The reason for that is because AI is still very new. It doesn't have that creative look that a creative director would have. But think of AI as your personal assistant to helping you get started, helping you put an idea out from your head or on paper into reality. And with that reality, you can now take the next step. You can start sampling the designs, you can start making adjustments, and you can start putting your brand out. A lot of times entrepreneurs get stuck in that phase, they don't know what art direction to take, they have some general concepts. Well, now AI has made it that much easier for you to take the next step forward. The rest will come because you already have everything you need. But if you need additional help or resources, check out this apparel game plan that we linked right here. More importantly, check out the Street Crafter website and all of the resources that we mentioned in the description right down below.